All right, so here it is, automatic water saver tap. So it's from the name, it's automatic water saver. So that means it saves water. Here is easy installation, induction water. So we should hope that it is easy to install. Now let's see here is the Xiaoda automatic water saver tap. Model, the automatic saver, here are all the box and where it's from and waterproof grades, hydraulic pressure and what not. Endurance about 6 months. If I'm not mistaken, this charges 2 hours and lasts for 6 months. About 6 months, alright? So, yeah, let's check it out. Now, here is the a product. So let's see. Where did I cut it? Yep. So I cut it right here. Let's see from here. Alright, so this is the Xiaomi type of faucet. So here is the inside of it. The product M22, M20. So all these are all the extension for the faucet on your pipe. This is the main unit. This has a sensor it's like those you know you go to the a uh, very prestige hotels they have those prestigious tap water where you put in to wash your hands it's all sensor related and no touching touching anywhere so yeah this will avoid covid yeah so this is how it works and from what i hear I can hear the motor inside the clicking. So let's hear again. Um, yeah, nothing. Yep. So yeah, we hear the click sound. So I think it's already activated. Now let's see the product. Here is the USB. So they have a cover so that it doesn't get wet. So here it is, down here you can just pull it and then here's the charger, micro USB, right. So from here to this side, here is one of the uh, sensor, if I'm not mistaken it's a touch sensor or a sensor by itself. Yeah, I think this is, this is by sensor so you don't have to touch it, it's by sensing your motion or your hand. So the top here is where you plug in the extensions. Now the bottom here is where the water comes out and another sensor for, as I said, the prestigious touch sensor, I mean the motion sensor. Can you hear the motor? Yeah. So let's try it out for only a cheap product plugged into a normal traditional faucet. Can we make it into a prestigious faucet so let's try it out right so before we try it I forgot to mention underneath yes the underneath there is the other accessories that is placed for uh, for assembling this stuff all right, so nothing much. Over here is the tools you need to assemble this. All right, um, isn't it pull? Yeah, it's pull. All right, so with my big hands, I have opened it. Here are the rubbers for putting it inside here so that water doesn't leak out. And here is the manual. I. Should we read the manual? Now nah, we read later on. All right. So here is the uh, the the one that you use to screw this into the main unit. So this is how you use it. You put it in. Later on, we try using this to assemble this on this. All right. So let's try it out. Alright, so here is our test zone. This is leaking. As you can see, the water is leaking. So what you're gonna do? Now, from the manual, yeah, read the manual. 
The manual here shows that you can take it out of the old one. Of course, you take out the old one. Alright, so here it is in this one M20 here. So this is for this this faucet here. So this faucet here, the original was this, and now I have used a wrench. I think it's a wrench or something. This I've used this to open it. Once you've opened this, it's like that. Then all you need to do is the M20. Put the this in now this has a label on top of this has a label if you can see g1 so there's a label here that says m20 so what you gotta do is just put it in okay then just slot in so that's easy just slot in use your hands to twist it once you've twisted twist it until it's tight, you need to twist some more until it's tighter. So let's twist it even tighter. So, yep, yeah, so up to here. Whew, it's crazy. Alright, so we shall try just push it in and see if it becomes prestigious enough for my usage. Alright, so finally I'm done. This is the third time I have done it and fixed it, and now it's working. So, you know what they say, third time's the charm, right? So, yeah, it works now. The water pressure is no problem. So the first time was the extension didn't fit, the second time was the water pressure wasn't enough, and the third time, well, it works. So if you're going to say what uh, easy installation, well, it is quite easy. Just put in any the extension first, then the second one is just put in this. All you need to do is slot in, and if you need to take it out, just use this side, go up or on top of this, and then just press it down. Because the bottom here, this middle thing here, is still locked. So it locks it, so you can't even take it out even if you pull. What you gotta do is just use this back plate, and then go in and push it from the top. Just push it down, and then it's done. Now this back here is just for doing this to tighten the extension. But it's quite hard because of this need to be aligned and this is quite short for it anyway you can use your hands to tighten it so it's no problem so yeah finally it's done my traditional pipe has become pristine and now it is pristine <laughs> so welcome to the pristine house the pristine sink so not much money to pay for pristine, you just have to include the add-on for your traditional pipe and that's it. No, uh, no extra money or you know, a lot of money to replace your uh, existing pipe. So thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Amos signing out with pristine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Wow. Click subscribe if you haven't, click like, go to the end of my video and click the playlist. In the playlist there are all my videos all at the corner on the right side. So thank you all for watching.